YouTube, what's good? Welcome back to another live commentary. In this one, we're using a build that involves Shadebinder, kind of a villainous setup here that's going on, and an exotic that most people have forgotten, that is the Ariana's Val. Let's take a quick look at what these guys are using. A couple close range, long range, you know, the usual stuff you see inside of Rusted Lance Trials. We are playing Flawless Pool, so all of these players have gone flawless, and we are on a seven win card. Teammate managed to get a pick. Right away, you could tell me he's an immortal, of course, because it is pretty much meta. You maniac. <laughs> this guy's pretty weak. Nice. Crispy. Ah. Oh. I miss this hand cannon. I do have a uh, double solar targeting, so it makes it even more snappy and a couple other fragments that just make it more lethal. It all involves freezing. So of course I have the exotic that gives me two cold snaps for more freezing purposes. And the melee on the back again gives me a third one and my rift gives me a fourth way to freeze. A little bit of damage there. Little freeze. <laughs> and he got hit by the suspend from the strand hunter. Anyways, we like to use Empower Rift to amp up the damage on the Ariana's Val, turn it into a mini sniper rifle. Now, thanks to the Ariana's Val, there's a little secret combo you can actually do. Anytime you freeze somebody with a cold snap at a distance, you can one tap them using Ariana's and then also with the fragment paired that with the melee. You can also do that combination, which is beautiful. The melee has a lot of range, so good ways to utilize that power. Beautiful, look at that two tap. <laughs> now the melee is going to be the best way to get these one shot kills with Ariana's Val, as the cold snap doesn't really last too long when you freeze an opponent. Really the cold snap is a good way to get some damage, break people apart, cause panic. Not something you can see when I'm using it really, but you can definitely see it when you're the enemy player up against it. Almost got that kill. Nice, good teamwork. This guy's absolute. Kind of managed to take him down. And of course, the meta immortal SMG clutching up. I was considering using something more fun, but unfortunately, the solo queue experience has not been kind to me, and Frost can't hold back. Now, normally, I stay away from Shadebinder due to the fact that it's so defensive, but it's so good at being defensive. I don't really find it effective at being aggressive, but it, it's all about how you play it, right? Oh my god, that was a free one tap to the head. But unfortunately, this guy managed to actually hit me as I was still behind cover. My teammates have some pretty solid shots. One goes down. It's a 1v1 situation. Strand Hunter versus a Warlock. SMG wins any time of the day. Let's keep talking. Next game. All right, let's see what we're up against. Pulse Rifle, Void Walker Gamer, Might Up Multi Tool on a Striker Titan. And the last character is also rocking Striker. Let's get to it. Gonna go ahead and just relax. We notice a player on the left side. We might be able to peek him here with the get the two tap. Let's take our time. Our hand cannon does a lot of damage, so keep that in mind. Beautiful. <laughs> Little triple down to start it off. I like to use the uh, empower rift to get those big damage shots off with the Ariana. It's, it's very crucial to hit the headshot though because otherwise you will lose the first glance buff. Now right there I wasn't able to get my orb of light that I procced with reaper. I would be able to get more grenades and melees for picking it up but it's all right. If Charles plays a little bit more slow we can always get the time we need to build some more abilities. So that guy thought he was gonna get a free push on me. Get a free tap on that guy. We're gonna actually back off. Maybe we could team shot this player. Nice, we got the cleanup. 
We have the first glance. He's not peeking. Maybe I can get the cleanup here. That should do some heavy damage. We can get a flank. Nice. Beautiful. 2-0. These poor strikers, they don't know what to do, man. They get close, they put barricades, and then just completely run away. Got a little freeze going on there. Hello there. Beautiful. We get the kill. And there is a player on top of us. Thank you to the airborne effectiveness that we get from freezing a player. He does have a shotgun, so he's kind of nervous. <laughs> there we go. Crispy. Little triple down. The freeze in close quarters allowed me to get that melee punch. I'm excited for the buff, actually, as well, too, because they're giving you more melee range after you pull that move, which is crazy to me. Let's see if we can get an angle on the right side. Two tap nice <laughs> you can't tell me that's not so crispy using the arianas that was toxic man a little long range freeze hit him with the one tap arianas i love it so satisfying and evil i'm not a big fan of this build i mean um shade binder normally but this build is making it really really sweet i could take my time with it definitely a little bit different than what i'm used to playing when it comes to pvp builds i like fast pace i like to push i like the movement our greatest strengths it's the passive nature. Beautiful team shots. This is the last round. What can they do? Nice. Let's see. Nice cleanup. I was hoping to melt that player much faster, but unfortunately for me, it did not work out. I'm just happy I got the kill because we do have to build up super. If you don't remember, we have to get a lot of primary damage to build more super. Special kills don't actually help us. The beautiful thing is I am about to get it. I like popping Shadebinder in trials. It feels like the enemy team can't do anything about it. So here we are waiting a little bit. Team, it goes down. Let me get a little peek at what's going on over there gonna miss that that's fine now i am going to be patient with uh my super i don't expect to win this round oh i completely missed my first shot the reason i don't pop my super we have a pretty big advantage that i can afford to give them an extra round if my teammates were alive though i would have popped normally doing a 1v3 with a super is kind of risky if they can just run away from you i'm gonna pop a rift here and then i'm gonna pre-fire this melee We managed to take one down. Let's try not to waste our super energy here. There is one on the right side. Who thinks I don't know he's here? That's alright. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Nice, beautiful. Last one. Let's close this out strong. I have a rift, so I can afford to use this one shot tap. He's going to run away. What the? Uh-oh. He can actually clutch. But he made a misplay. You got too excited, man. You thought you had it. You're not going to 1v3 against Frabo, all right? Well played, well played. All right, here we go. It's time for another match. Cloud Strike in a Dombly with Crimson. Let's dive in. Looks like my teammates want to play left side, so I will entertain the idea just a little bit. Couple nades going off. Looks like that actually managed to get a freeze on somebody. Ooh. A lot of damage going off. Let's back up a little bit. Get our health back. He is distracted and helping his teammates. 
that's gonna cost you the round, man. I noticed I had the attention of the sniper player and both my teammates were collapsing, so all you really do is just keep them tunneled on you. Nope. Nice, we got one down. Oof, he gets a snipe, but I get the freeze. And teammate gets the cleanup. <laughs> I'm going to play the right side this time. Now, I don't know how many of them would actually attempt to collapse on me. Let's back up and see if we can use the hand cannon for range. Oh, I was hoping to get a trade. So it looks like the res was on the other side of the tunnel, even though he had jumped over to try to kill me. And that was unfortunate. It was a mystery from my part because I was hoping that I was going to pop that rift nearby to him. But that's all right. That's a smoke grenade. We get the free 1v1. Let's see if we can get an angle here on the right. We'll play right side. Beautiful two-piece. We take that. Hey, don't hold hands. Don't touch each other. What do you mean by that? That ice type melee is so good. It's so good that it makes me question why don't I run tier 10 strength? But the reality is tier 10 nades is so good for the ongoing pressure of constantly having... An ability that splits the players around. Not much I can do there. Thankfully, they didn't challenge. We'll go right side with this. Big shot. It'll be a tough situation for us to win. But perhaps we can make a play. Got some pretty good damage there. I want to use this freeze nade to back the player off. Nice, we got one. Beautiful. Now the other guy's probably pre-aiming with a sniper rifle. Little bit of damage. I could potentially play the res now. But if you want situation. Always better when you have more numbers than the enemy team, am I right? So, so far, so good. We've been slaying with this. You can tell anytime the enemy team attempts to play aggressive, they just, they just get punished for it. It takes a bit of practice, though, to get the timing down, I've noticed. You can end with pressing every single button, like, oh, grenade, grenade, melee, boom, rift, boom. And you're like, don't freeze anybody or don't do anything. We got a little bit of damage there. Maybe I can get a jump shot. All right. That's okay with me. Let's go ahead and back away. Oh, no. I got cleaned up as I tried to run back. Unfortunately, I was the one that got caught split. On the bright side, the enemy team did pop a wall of radiance already. I'm close to my shade binder. Now, we might see something crazy here where if he has a thunder crash, I can freeze him with my super. Teammate goes down. Big damage. He got one. I think it's my turn to pop. Let's see what we do. <laughs> the villain build, eh? Get out of my face. Gorilla, you rhinoceros titan. Go learn to play something else, all right? I'm your kryptonite, Superman. <laughs> Beautiful.